What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we, before we get started with the second episode of our Buffalo Sabres series, really the true beginning, I'm going to go over some of the uh, things I added in and I want to give a big shout out here to Unused Canadian for uh, all these suggestions. Now I didn't take all your overalls um, into account but I did, uh, I did make them close and I, took, uh, I, I did their potentials by basically kind of where they went in the draft. So, um, that's sort of what I did with that. Now, uh, Fox was a little different as he was a later round pick, but traded for and, uh, was reading a bit about him, has some pretty good upsides. I think he's a top four anyway. So I'm going to go through these real quick. You can see all of them. Now, this is the fake Zadina. Don't worry about that. I just swapped him with the real Zadina and changed that Zadina to a sniper as he should be. So I'm going to scroll through all these right now. Um... So there we are. Those are all the things that I added here. And I did make some changes to the Buffalo roster as well. And uh, we can go through them real quick to see what their potentials are. I'm going to do that because I'm pretty sure you guys would be uh, sort of curious here. So we're going to do that real quick. So Fox got his potential set at a medium top four. Don't need to save that or anything like that we're just going to go through all of these real quick so you guys have a good idea uh my car isn't an, is an elite so i don't even i don't know i had i had to remember for some of them but other ones i don't have to remember yeah my car is an elite on colorado fabro i'm not too sure about but let me check that <laughs> i did so much like all this i spent the last couple hours uh putting some of the touches on their faces aren't too different yeah he's a top four all right next up we guys, oh, we already know about Zadina. Uh, Dennis Senko, I'm pretty sure he's a top six. And I think I may, oh, no, 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 that's another guy. Uh, Dennis Senko is a top six because his draft is the same thing with uh, Joel Faraby. And uh, they're slightly different overall because Faraby went a bit above Dennis Senko in the draft. Again, they were like 15, 16, I believe they were. So that's what their overall and then their potential is top six. That's where that comes from. Hughes, we already know about. Franchise guy coming up next year. Uh, Josh Norris, I have this guy as a top six and only 70 overall. Now, you you did say to have him list higher, but as he is a San Jose prospect, I did get a good chance to check him out and do a lot of research on him. I still think he's a couple years out. I was If I was going to make him 75 overall, his potential would be green top 9 instead, but I wanted to give him a medium top 6 and made him 70 overall. Like I said, I still think he's another year or so of development out from being a uh, NHLer, and he's a two-way forward. You said sniper, but he is indeed a two-way forward. He's that kind of guy. Uh, Here's that uh, goaltender Odinger on the Dallas Stars. I made this guy a starter. I can't remember if I made him high or medium, but I know he was a first-round pick. However, when I was reading a bit about him, there's some things that he does lack. He will be, at minimum, um, a backup goaltender for a team, which is why I think I gave him the uh, medium starter. There's no like guarantee this guy's going to be a, like a you know true starter of a team. So I gave him the chance to do that. And he's at a solid overall, so I do think that he has a pretty damn good chance of being a starting goaltender. But there's no guarantee, and that's what I kind of wanted to reflect in his uh, in the creation of him. Uh, there's Keandre Miller, uh, 64 overall, a top four medium. Um, Samuelson on the Buffalo Sabres, 61 overall, medium top six, because I believe he went, what, third round, I think? Yeah. Um, Wallstrom is obviously medium uh, elite on the Islanders. Uh, Quinn Hughes, medium elite on the, uh, Canadians, uh, polling here, polling, however the hell you say it, I made him 69 overall, cause I don't think he's quite ready yet, he's on his way, and I made him a top six, mainly because, uh, that's kind of where I would rank this guy, he could be a top six player, but he's guaranteed kind of to be a third liner, and that's what I tried to reflect in his, uh, potential and overall right there so we got that taken care of and i know there's one guy i have i think he's down here yeah that's right uh Kravtsov. now he's 71 overall i think a bit lower than you did but most of mine were a bit lower than you did i think you went a little uh over like over with the overalls in estimations because a lot of those overalls you listed are pretty much nhl ready like 75 74s are very close to being uh nhl ready and obviously, Makar, I did lower than 79. Well, I do think he is very good. I don't think he's that good yet. I th still think he's going to need to 
need a true development before he's a uh, true NHLer. Anyway, Kravtsov, I changed to a power forward because of what I read about him. Some things I, I kind of watched a couple clips of him. I think he's got more of a power forward game. Still has a great shot. Still good offensive instincts. A little bit slower on the back check, I think. I believe, and I've reflected that in some of his defensive stats. So it was tough, but I went with power forward because I do think he's he's got that physical game to him. So that's kind of what um, what I wanted to reflect in that. So that's all the additions that I did make, and I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, I do apologize. But I was trying to get wanted really wanted to get an episode out today. I think Jack Hughes is the main one that we want to add in next draft. So that's what I did. And uh, what else I did, we'll check in our roster. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. So now that we're in our franchise mode, you can see... Uh, da, 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 no thanks. I left Jack. I know some people said to change, maybe change Eichel to franchise, but I think he's fine as a high elite. I don't think he needs to be a franchise guy. I consider... I don't... I mean, he's a franchise center, but that's not to say he needs a franchise potential. That's I, I kind of reserve that for more of the generational type talents around here. Um, so that's what I did with that. I left Eichel with, um, with the same, there we go. Okay. They do. <laughs> so Paul McVille, I did bump up. I do agree. He needed to be a bit higher. So I gave him a few bumps here and there. And now he's an 82. He should, you know, he might still decline and stuff like that. So he won't be, he's not going to be an OP veteran or anything like that, but he is having a pretty damn good year. And he's been, has had some good success over the last couple of years that I don't think he deserved to be an 80 overall only. Um, I didn't touch too much else besides Skinner. I bumped up one overall, mostly into his shot. I bumped that up a little bit. So he's got a slightly better shot. Most Everything else is literally the same. I just bumped up his shot a little bit to give him. Because while he is, he ha is having a good year this year, he's been kind of inconsistent. Sure, maybe on Carolina he wasn't a fit. And he has been playing good this year. I didn't want to go too overboard, bump him up to like an 86 as was suggested. So I gave him an 85. And I think he should be just fine there. Now, when it comes to the AHL, um, the only thing I really did was Nylander. He's a low elite. Now, that was suggested by Pauly Niemi, and I usually will trust Pauly Niemi with things like this. So, Alexander Nylander, 74 overall, low elite instead of a medium elite. Now, he was an 8th overall pick. But, when you think about the drafts in this game, 8th overall pick will likely be a top 6. So... I like him as a as a low elite. I think that's a much better reflection of his skill set. Now I could be wrong. He could turn out to be an amazing player, but yeah, I still think I still think low elite definitely suits him a bit better. And uh, oh, one more thing: our goaltender's Olmark. He is 25, so I didn't really mind bumping up to a starter and actually give him high starter to because he's almost kind of done growing so if we're going to get any sort of growth out of him he's only going to really maybe become an 82 83 anyway and uh while he is doing pretty good here um he has had a long road to the nhl some good play some not so good play so i think i think that high starter combined with his age he might grow he might not so i, I but i did want to give him more of a chance to grow so that's what I did with him because I do think he could he could be more you know he could he could definitely be a fringe starter in the NHL no doubt about that and he's uh played pretty damn good this year <laughs> so there we go that's that and everything else is pretty much the same I didn't I wanted to mostly do the additions not too many changes to this roster here especially in making too many guys too good and stuff like that and I didn't really change that much around here so all right. That pretty much takes care of everything. I think I covered it all. And uh, thank you guys very much for all your suggestions and things like that. So what we have decided to do, morale is going to be on because a lot of, it was, it was close, but I think most people want a morale on and I was a tiebreaker. I like morale on. I think it presents a challenge you have to worry about. You can't just, you know, have a ridiculously stacked team within cap. I mean, sometimes it makes sense, but sometimes it doesn't, but that's why looking for guys with good character is important too. I think character will affect their morale. You know, if they're maybe sometimes a little emotional or things like that, then maybe they'll be more inclined to have morale issues i i don't know if that's true but that's just it's kind of like spitballing a hypothesis at this point but that's kind of my thoughts on that so all right i think i covered just about everything all the other stats are the same i think we will limit our uh draft picks and we can still decide on that i, I didn't we, we need to come to some kind of a big consensus because some people said no other people said yeah we like that but there are some uh differences on how many picks we uh should be allowed here so 
when we go into the draft, well, we'll figure it out before we go into the draft. I think that should uh, that should be our uh, plan of action here. We'll at least get that sorted out. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd wanted to cover. I don't think so. So that's it. Now we got to think about what we want to do here. Do we want to make any trades? Do we want to let this team play as is? I might be inclined to let it play as is, but let's take a look at our trade area here. So yeah, there's Nylander. Less potential now, so that's less trade value for us, but I wanted to make this more true to everything. Whatever, true to life. <laughs> Whatever I'm trying to say. So yeah, I did see some trajectory to change, change this guy's overall. I didn't really see a need. I think he's very well placed, uh, depending, you know, for where he was drafted, how old he is. I think he's perfect the way he is, so that's fine. Anyway, um, when we're looking at what we want to trade, Ocposo's contract sucks. We're not really in any cap trouble by any means, but I don't like that contract. I don't know if how many teams would want him, and if we're kind of go, going to go on the tanking route, this guy's a guy I move. The problem is, 6x5 on his contract, and he's 30 years old, only 83 overall. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. But if we can't trade him, then what are our lines going to be? I saw one good suggestion saying to make my first line a scoring line, my second line maybe a shutdown line, and then third line a scoring line, and I actually kind of like that idea. So, how we can do that, yeah, face-off's 85 right here for Sabotka, so obviously he's going to get in there. Thompson, face-off 73, middle stat 72. Alright, well, I'd still like middle stats face-offs to probably get better. So, yeah. Let's see, Shiri. There we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking of right now, how's Shiri? Is he a good defensive player? He's decent. I'm trying to th trying to th figure out how to make a shutdown line and a scoring line here. <laughs> All right, Palmanville. We'll put here. So we're gonna. Have I kind of like this idea. I really do. A third line who can score. Obviously, Tage Thompson isn't the best, so we might want to use Ogpozo there, maybe even Shiri there. But then we have Triple Playmaker. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know if Ogpozo shoots a lot in this game or can goal score. Again, I don't really know that about Thompson either. So we could try to do that, give all these guys power play time. And then they won't have to uh, worry about getting wrecked too much. Oh, and yes, I did uh, switch around Dolan. I gave him high elite potential, which I think he deserves. Not, uh, I mean, I could have made him franchise, yes. But I think High Elite still better reflects him. It's it's tough to say what defenseman's going to be a franchise talent. And too small of a sample size right now. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with him being a High Elite. And he should still grow probably to 90 overall. So let's get him where he needs to be. Going to be playing him uh, with Bogosian here. I want to try to grow him, so I'm going to try to do that playing him in his role. And everything else will kind of fall into place yeah this is not going to be a good year for us i highly doubt it at least but if we all we want to do here is grow our players and you know trade wise we could i mean we could move Ocpozo here but i kind of want to test him out on that third line with our guys so let's see here middle stat on the power play Ocpozo palmanville yeah, I like all that. Ristolainen and Dawn could be first unit. I can put another score, like like Thompson or something on the point, even though he's not really a scorer. Yikes. <laughs> Trying to think of who else we should have on defense there. None of those guys are any good. So, yeah, maybe Thompson there. Or, no, we have Shiri, huh? There we go. Let's get Shiri there on the point. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and then I guess we can keep Scandell in there. I mean, we could put Tage Thompson there on the point, which is kind of... He's already getting that second line time. I th we'll put him on penalty kill. He should be okay. All right, I think we had someone better than Ellie there. This guy's actually kind of deep. He's a playmaker, man. I think I want Scott Wilson instead, though, even though he is slightly better defensively. How's Ellie, though? Is he, like, a top six by chance? He's a top nine, 23. You know what? He's got a better upside than Wilson. So you know what? I think I can leave him there. Yeah, we don't have a depth defenseman, though, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, well, sort of. 
Or we could probably trade one or two of these guys. Rodriguez, low top nine at 25. I don't think he's going to get too much better. I could probably afford to trade him. Scott Wilson will hold on to for depth, but we could probably afford to trade Rodriguez at least. So we can pick up uh, another pick for him. And we can at least do that. Yeah, I kind of like that. We won't be able to get much for him, but we can get a little bit. And a little bit will help. So, all right. Um, I'm not going to get more than two for any round right now because I don't know if that'll be our rule set. So, I'm going to be careful about what picks I have. And we're going to, of course, limit the total amount of picks. Now, the three first, we started with that. So, I'm keeping those. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We only have nine picks right now. So, the limit we're setting was anywhere between... I saw mostly 12 and 14 as a suggestion. So... But we can probably only get one pick for this guy anyway. But let's find a team who wants him. Toronto wants him, eh? Give us your picks. Eh. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's not going to be that good. I'm just having visions of him scoring on me in the playoffs and the game winning goal or something like that. So, eh, let's, 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 let's. Okay, St. Louis. There you go. You can go to St. Louis. What can we get? A f probably not a fifth for him. But I'll try for a fifth. Rodriguez for a fifth. Okay, wow. I have it on hard difficulty, and that's what I'm expecting, but I guess he's slightly better than a fifth. Whatever. <laughs> Don't need him. Maybe I could have tried to mid-max that a bit better, but I'm also trying to not get too many picks here. Trying to make this a, a bit harder on myself as we go. Alright, I'm looking for anything else that could be sacrificed here. Not really seeing it. Yeah. Could sacrifice all this Olofsson guy. 23-69. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was in the... Uh... That was weird. I tried to find that guy. <laughs> I think someone mentioned that I should improve him a little bit. And I tried to find him, and I, for some reason, couldn't find him. Alright, well, whatever. So I'll hold on him for a bit. Uh, anyone else? I'm. There's a couple guys here who might, might be able to bring up. This guy's a fourth liner. That means we could maybe sacrifice Berglund. Free up some caps. Oh my god. No one's going to want that contract. There's zero chance in hell anyone wants that contract. I'll try, but I don't see that happening at all. What the hell kind of... Of course the Sharks want him. Um, they can afford him. This guy's playing on our fourth line right now. He's listed as a third liner, so... Let's try something here. Let's try to get a four and a seven. I doubt we'll be able to get that. They'd, oh, they have too many skaters. Rip. Can't do that. Watch. All the teams that want him have too many skaters. Oh, maybe Nashville. Yeah, Colorado's might be better. That being... Yeah, they're both pretty good at this point. All right. Berglund for a four and a seven. No way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not comfortable taking on extra salary. I don't blame you. It's not very good, that contract. I'm still trying. Oh, son of a bitch. Here we go, Minnesota. Minnesota wants Berglund. Oh, they don't have a four. There's no way we're getting a three. Zero chance. Five and a six, maybe. No. Oh, they're, no one's comfortable taking on extra salary. The hell, man. All right, screw that. So that's not going to work. All right, so for tra usually we're able to make a few trades here, but in this case, only one. I don't... I kind of would... I think we'd need to reassess. I'm not going to go too crazy here and start trading off some major pieces. Like I said, I... W I'm, I we got to start... We got to... Well, obviously trade Okposib about no later than when he's 32, because players can start decline around 32, 33... And this guy's the kind of guy who I'm afraid of will do that. Power forward, etc. He's not that good. I just, I don't, I don't think a lot of teams will interest in that contract. And he's not a lot of value. Plus, we can get like a second for that in a later year. So, you know, I, I think I should hold on to that for a bit. And that's kind of it. All the value on this team we pretty much need. Ooh, I did forget to change Lukanen's potential. But I, you don't see this guy getting incredible usually in this game. I was going to change into a uh, low elite, and that's my bad, but 
whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Again, I usually don't see him get that good in this game. So, all right. That'll pretty much take care of it. All right. Yep. I think that's it for our trades. At this point, we want to see how this team's going to do. That's kind of what it is. We could switch the lines up right now, but I want to see what the computer thinks this team can do. Now, I didn't send out... Ooh. Shite. All right. Hold on one sec. I didn't do the scouts. All right. Sorry about that. I just had to go through uh, some hiring and firing of scouts and assigning scouts. I completely forgot to do that with all the roster things I was doing anyway. So here we are in preseason, trucking along here. We had an injury. It was a minor injury to Hutton. He's right back. <laughs> it was uh, an injury nonetheless, so that's not a great start here in Buffalo. But preseason has started off in a pretty good note. So we're going to do what we usually do is sim up um, for the first bit of the month. We'll have everything kind of scouted by then. And, uh, my God, what the, what the hell? <laughs> Buffalo Sabres preseason going crazy good. These lines, though, okay, we finally lose. <laughs> but 6-1 and one in the preseason. Is that a precursor? Yeah, 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 I already got all my scouts going. Get out of here. Is that a precursor to us actually being good this year? We lost locker room chemistry, so we lost the first game of the season. Came back with a shootout win. Beat Vegas. Lost to uh, Colorado. So 2-2 two two to start things off. Not too sure what to make of this team quite yet. But we're hanging in there. Hanging around 500. We're going to beat San Jose. All right, let's check, see what the draft class is like. Hughes, yep, Hughes is up there. Good, good, good. All right, so Jack Hughes. Let's see who else. Uh, Kako Broberg. This guy has no flag. <laughs> A lot of defensemen. And not too much after that. So scouts need, still need to get to work. All right. Other than that, though, we're like I said, we're hanging in there. We like yeah. Now we're okay. Now we're gonna start dropping back off. That I was expecting this to happen much earlier, but here we go. And looking like the tank is beginning here. But when we win, we're scoring some goals. All right, I would love to see us. You know what? I, I don't care if we lose. Just give me three goals a game. That's what I. That's what I want here. Just score a lot, guys. Jack Eichel, ten points in twelve games played. Not going to worry myself too much about our stats. Maybe our power play. You know what? I will. Just to see if we can. I just want to make sure our goal scoring is getting in there. And we're not. Goals for per game, 2.25. Goals against 3. Power play, 12%. Yikes. Penalty kill is at least decent, but who cares about that? I'm trying to score some goals here. All right. What's the issue? How's that third scoring line? Are they... Dolan's producing. Palmonville's got 6. Ellie Sheary with 5. Berg, no... His middle stats only got four points. He's a minus one. Still young, though, so I could still give him time. I don't want to really play him on, like, the second line or anything like that. Ocpozo's only got four points, but he is kind of being a goal scorer. But they need more, that third line. Yeah, let me take another look at that. Third slash second score. That's oh, a second scoring line, but we're trying to go with, like, a shutdown second line. Don't know if that's working out too well. So, but Kashiri Thompson, well, he's a minus six, so I'd say no. <laughs> but I can't, yeah, it's, I, uh, Sabotka's really the only one who could shut, I mean, you look at Shiri, you look like you should be able to shut down, but the fact is, these guys are just not as good as a lot of the second lines they're facing. We don't have the skill set. We just don't, and I'm trying to hope that these guys playing here on the third line can maybe exploit some matchups and, and get some favorable ones. They are on the power play altogether too, but our power play is not good right now. Eichel Skinner. I mean, yeah, it all looks good. Yeah, I. Even though our power play is doing crap, I'm just like I don't even know how to improve it. I just can't really right now, I don't think. <laughs> Carter Hutton not doing too good. Linus Olmark is. Good job. So maybe we want to start him a bit more. But for now, we're just going to let this play out a bit. Yeah. 
not too much else that we can do at this point. I mean, we're not going to really be able to improve this team that much internally. I don't think. Could be wrong on that, but I'm not seeing it. All right, L right there. So two losses, five goals, four in two games. Played not bad. They want to give us Hickey for a second and a third. I don't think Hickey's that good, but I'm going to take a look at him anyway. Probably don't have him that well scouted. I do. No, top. No, get out of here. No, thanks. It's a good contract and all, but worth the second and third. Well, they are offering a fourth. It's okay. That's a very good contract, but... No, he's already 29. He's not... No, I don't like that. Not a fan of that one. Tough loss right there. Shut out one to nothing. Can't score. Can't score. Oh, man. Now we really can't score. Oh, we really can't score. And we're starting to really tank here. It's uh, tough times here in Buffalo. Oh, my, is it tough times. All right, we might have to switch it up just for growth's sake. But, I don't know. There's a couple wins right there. There's four in a row. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but that's a lot of goals. Three, five, three, and five. Pretty damn good. Then we're right back to not able to score. So we have our, we have our moments. But, for the most part, not good moments. <laughs> 9, 16, and 2. Rochester's doing decent. 10, 7, and 3. 500 counting in the overtime losses, but those are pity points. Jack Eichel, 22 points and 27. Ooh, can you not game? That was interesting. I'm right here. Like, how does it even switch over there? <laughs> you have to go two to their left, and I clearly didn't. Anyway, I just want to see our team goal scoring here. 2.22. It's even, like, worse. I mean, we don't. We have, like, one line. Trying to have like two lines, but it's not quite working. We can try middle stat. We can try to mix things up. Put some other things up there. Jack Eichel, 22. Skinner, 18. Reinhardt with 18. They need like... I'm wondering if I put... I know he's doing horribly right now. Uh, I missed him. I had to have. There he is. He's got six goals though. So I wonder if I played him first line. Make him, like, a bit of a goal scorer. Maybe even get him some statistical growth to make him easier to trade. So Skinner, Eichel, and Ocpozo have Reinhardt on second line with Pominville and, I guess, Sabotka. I don't know. I'm also considering trying to move up Middlestat. Who's just, but he's just not doing good anywhere. I don't know if having him on the second line would help him out that much. He's just not having a good time. Tage Thompson's at least doing decently, but I think he needs to be on the third line. That just looks like it. Yeah, I'm... All right, all right. Let's take a look. What can we do, perhaps, to the second line? I'll brainstorm a bit. Because I know we're get, we're kind of trying to tank, but we need certain guys to do better. Like, we need certain guys to produce and have kind of good years. So, that's what we're after here. So, if we did something like that. Skinner, Eichel, Pozo, Reinhardt, Sabotka, Shiri. Yeah, I think Thompson could be able to score some goals here. So maybe I want to do that. Pominville, Middlestat, Thompson. Still not a very strong second line. Reinhardt needs someone to kind of score for him. And unfortunately, neither of these guys can really score. Yeah, we're just lacking goal scorers, plain and simple. We have so many guys who can pass and, and do n nice things with the puck, but we are lacking some goal scorers here. It's definitely showing. Pominville might be able to fill that role, so we could try Pominville, Sabotka, Reinhardt, and see maybe, because, I mean, his production, four, four goals, six assists, is kind of good. It's a decent ratio. And then maybe Shiri, Middlestat, Thompson as a third line. Might do slightly better. Not much, but it might do slightly better. And uh, Dolan's doing great. Oh, well, he slipped. He started off good. He had he had a lot of freaking points, but now he's got you know, 12 points in 27 games played. Not incredible. If our power play was clicking more, then it would be better. So let's try that out. Put Eichel with Ocpozo and Skinner. How's Eichel done on the power plays? He's a... Uh, no, see, he's more of an assist guy on the power play, so he needs goal scores. So having Skinner... And Ocposal with him should help him in that regard. Then risk the line and Dahlin. If we could just have one good power play unit, that's fine. But 
Reinhardt, Middlestat, Palmerville, Shiri. That could be okay. This guy's probably done nothing on the power play, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. He's terrible. How about Shiri? He's got no... Yeah, the second unit is really bad right now. I don't really have another defenseman who can do anything with the puck. And, no, I was going to say, unless Hunwick is kind of good. But McCabe... Scantel, 83 and 83. Like, that's it. Like, even McCabe's only 82 and 83. Yeah, he's got a hard shot. But... So does Scandella. So really, Scandella still makes the most sense there. Unless we want to split up Ristolainen and Dolan on that top unit. And really overload the top unit. Which we could do. But it would mean a weaker second unit. And a weaker middle stat. <laughs> so we could do something like that. Reinhardt overload that first power play unit, but the thing about this is the only guy who can really grow here is Reinhardt. Still don't want to. We don't want to leave out Middlestat completely, but maybe Sabotka there. Have him maybe take faceoffs. Possession is important. And Middlestat, and we can do something like that for that. I don't know. Yeah, but we need to. I think this team can score more, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do. So you guys can let me know about that. Um. And any, of course, any uh, trade requests that you think we could do, whether it be for Akpozo or whatever. But obviously, we need Eichel to still grow, too. I mean, I don't think he'll not grow, but we want him to have a good year. He's doing pretty good right now. But I think having Akpozo with him could do a little better. Maybe turn him into the playmaker that he actually is and help him out in that regard. Or maybe Reinhardt was really helping him. But I think we should try some different things with the lines. Just to kind of get certain guys to grow. The main ones we want to grow is Middlestat. Thompson we want to grow. Eichel, of course. Dolan. Ristolainen, too. I mean, he can still get a bit better. So those are the main guys we want to grow. As well as Olmark here. Oh, okay. He had one. Yeah. <laughs> He's played a bit more now. Eight games played. And not doing so hot. So, yeah. I think they're splitting pretty well, though. 19 games for Hutton. Eight games for Olmark. Let's say 20... Let's see, how many games total is that? Uh, 27. So out of 27, this guy's played 8. Just randomly times that by 3. 24. He's going to get about 30 starts this year. That's pretty solid for Olmark. Yeah, I'd say you get around 30, 30 starts, and that's pretty solid. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> if you guys have any line change suggestions, definitely let me know. Maybe we should just have Middlestad on the second line trying to do his best. But I, I just don't think he's quite ready. I just don't see it. It might be there, but I just don't see it. Not yet. Yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty tanky. Pretty tanky. I don't mind the goals against. I just wish we got a few more goals for. That's that's it. We just want to get a bit more. Oh, <laughs> that locker room chemistry. 59% locker room chemistry. What is happening? I know I actually got to see that. Oh, can I? Oh, God damn it. So silly. It's like you look, you should be able to click on that. Before we go into locker room chemistry and morale, let's see if we got any good news here. Well, Eichel, looks like he's got some growth already. Uh, click. There you go. Yep, natural growth from Eichel. That's great. We need him to grow. So that's brilliant. No one else has grown in the system here. Uh, Nylander's grown a bit and locks it in. Other than that, no one quite yet, but it is early. We do have one extra top six guy. The hell's he at? Oh, he's going to be up through all the top nines. Na, 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 na. There he is, Samuelson. Unsigned. Under no god damn it. <laughs> Sometimes I forgot I forget that, but I don't think that really matters. i I remembered it for most of the major guys, but yeah, it's I had to keep going back and double checking certain things when I'm creating guys, because like it's just these little things I can get. It it like that literally doesn't matter, but it bugs the shit out of me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's bugging my OCD. And I, I I know I got it on everyone else, but of course. The one guy I didn't double check. No discount double check for you. Okay, so what is going on in our locker room right now causing this many issues? Hunwick's a leader. Ocposo's a leader. Eichel's neutral. Mr. Captain. Gotta step it up here. What is, uh... Anyone really pissed? Not really. Jeff Skinner's not happy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Interesting. I don't know. Oh, the 59% locker room chemistry. You can't really check like where that's coming. I wish you could. Like it doesn't it's not really clear to me like how it how that works out, but I can check like chemistry's here. Like he doesn't have any negatives with anyone. Eichel doesn't. Have, he loves Tage Thompson. No negatives. Like I'm just trying to find the negatives here. Oh, he doesn't like Sabotka or Berglund. He's playing with Sabotka. Might not be good. The hell's wrong with you, Reinhardt? No one, no one else has a problem with you, Reinhardt. What's your issue? Reinhardt might be the one bringing us all down. Oh, Tage Thompson doesn't like Palmanville. Well, you're not playing with him anymore. <laughs> well, then. Yeah, the only... Reinhardt and Tage Thompson aren't too thrilled with some people here. Other than that... Marco Scandella doesn't like middle stat. What's, his pro what's your problem? Bogosian probably hates everyone. No, surprising. Dolan. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> Sabotka, Bergelin, Nelson. The hell? The older guys or what, man? Are they yelling at you? Did you pinch in bad, look in bad times? It's weird. Our younger guys don't like our older guys here. Well, locker room chemistry is an issue. Probably because these mad Berglund's making almost 4 million. Play the fourth line. I don't blame him. All right, yeah, so <laughs> some problems here. Locker room chemistry is shit. Team is shit. We're just going to try to keep mixing and matching. We're looking like we're tanking anyway, so I'm not going to try to fight it too much. I, I sure as hell ain't making trades to make this team better. If anything, we're trading away assets to get more uh, things for the future. So, all right, guys, suggestions, line changes, trade suggestions, anything else in that regard, definitely let me know because this is going to be an uphill battle, especially this first year. But we got some guys grown. We haven't seen it come to fruition yet, but I have faith in this team that they will, well, our prospects, that they will definitely grow and we'll be able to draft pretty well in the coming years. Okay, guys, so that'll just about do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.